Hey guys, it's Hake here, and I'm going to show you guys how you can actually install color tables on GR Level 3 and GR Analyst products. For, um, for people that don't know how to do this, this is for uh, users that do not know how. Um, first of all, open up a browser, and um, I'm actually going to go to a website. There's a number of different websites out there in which you can download place files from. Um, what you're going to want to do is uh, Google GR level mods open up this uh, link I'm sorry that's the wrong link in fact I have it bookmarked I'm gonna leave a link in the description box it's right here it's this Al many designers.com slash color tables I'll leave a link in my YouTube description box of this so in here you can have uh, if you go down to the bottom of the page and we go on to page 2 alright on page 2 here we have all these uh, examples of different color tables in which you can download and apply them to GR level radars so you can select um, one of these Let's go with uh, this one for an example. You would click the, the link and it will pull up a little text thing here. So you want to copy the whole text from here. Once you have that copied, you can minimize your browser. Right click on an open space on your desktop, go into new and create a new text document. When you create a new text document, you can leave it new text document. It doesn't matter what you name it. You just want to open the new text document. This opens up Notepad. In this paste that all into Notepad like so. Click File. Click Save As. This is very important. You name it whatever you want to name it. So I'm going to name it uh, uh, base BR. Stands for Base Reflectivity. And uh, Test for an example. Just because we're going to. For the purpose of this video. But the very important thing here is no matter what. You name the file, you have to name it at the end dot p a l. It has to be dot p a l, else the file will not work with GR level radars. Alright, once you click save, and on your desktop, you get this little notepad icon thingy, and there's the file. If you hover your mouse over it, it should say dot pal file. If you right click on it and you go into properties, it should also say it's a dot pal file. So once that's created, open up one of your GR radars. I'm going to use GR level 2 here, or level 3 here, sorry. And then from here, when you open up it, you're going to click on where it says File, actually where it says View. And now in this little drop-down menu, you're going to come down to where it says Color Table Sentence, and then where it says Change, you're going to go to your desktop where you've created that PAL file and you're going to select it so in this case there's the, fa the PAL file that I've created I'm going to just execute that and now let's see what it looks like I'm going to go find some storms here there you go as you can see the color table has changed You can also notice the legend bar right here that it's changed. Now if I go back to the normal color table, to get back to the normal color table, you want to go back into to, uh, table settings again. Color table settings, click change. And essentially you want to go to where GR level 3 is installed to. So you would click computer, you click your hard drive, you click uh, program files. If you're running a 30, a 62-bit operating system, it will be under 82x86. Running a 32 bit operating system, it's under program files. And then in here, you look for GR level X. And in here, you find GR level 3.2 for the copy that I'm running on. And you click color tables. And here, you have all your color tables. And you cl click the fault BR or the fault underscore BR. 
When you click on that and you click the open button, that will change it back to the, the normal color table. I have downloaded several color tables for an example. This one, as you can see, and I've even got a folder, where is it, my desktop, full of different color tables for GR level products. As you see, I can just click on the PAL files. And that's how you change your color table on GR level radars. So you can uh, head to that website, to, and I'm going to leave a link in the description box, and it has a whole bunch of different um, uh, color tables in here. And if you actually go into uh, the page free, you've actually got the uh, velocity color tables as well, so you can even change velocity as well, which is pretty neat. So it's not just for base reflectivity, it can do velocity as well. If you just download it, it's the exact same thing for an example to put in a velocity one. You would click on it, you would copy the text down once again. You would go into a notepad, or open up a new text document, paste the information all in there. You would click File, Save As, name this file whatever you want. Make sure you hit stop pal at the end so it will run with uh, GR level radars. Click save, open up GR level, and uh, click on uh, view, color table settings. This time you click BV, base, base re velocity. And in here, uh, you would go into your desktop essentially, find that. Uh, how file you just created in notepad open that up with that and uh, then you would uh, go into a base velocity and there you go now you've got the customized base velocity if you were to go back the exact same thing go back to color table go back into a uh, base velocity click change go back to where GR level radar is installed on your computer you would be able to change it back to the normal um, base velocity signatures. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this helped the uh, beginner users of GR level radars, or maybe you're not too computer savvy to uh, install um, color tables on GR level products. This works for analysts as well. It's the exact same method. You just have to go into color tables, change it, and open up a PAL file. Thanks for watching.